Ciao comrades! Today we are looking at yet another amazing and this time native Android port of Ocarina of Time the compilation Ship of Harkanian. We are looking at the installation and then we are checking out all the new features. So let's get cracking! First and foremost, huge thanks to Waterdish for the hard work, it's greatly appreciated. And let's start off with how to install it. First, download and install the APK. It will crash because we are missing the game files but it will create a directory where we need to put it. Second, get the compatible ROM. I got PAL version 1.1. You can also use this website that can check if your version is compatible. Third, download the zip file, extract it and run the exe. And when it asks for ROM, choose the path to wherever you put it. It will do its thing, wait for the process to finish and after it is done, you need to transfer two files to the directory that you can see right now on the screen. If it crashes or if you encounter any errors, check again if you've got compatible ROM and you can also check FAQ on the official GitHub release page. Link for it is down below. And also guys, if you're enjoying these videos, like and subscribe because there is certainly more to come. Now, let's boot up the game, shall we? I've tried it on 16x9 and 4x3 screen and they both work full screen it was automatically detected. You're gonna need also a controller because the touch inputs only work in the enhancements menu not uh, when you control the character. This is an Android port of Ship of Harkanian which is an unofficial source port of the original N64 game for Windows, Linux and Macs. And it was all possible because the game was successfully decompiled at March 2022. This Android port is great because same as its PC version counterpart it has a lot of new features, enhancements, bug fixes, tweaks and whatnot that are just not available if you play the game via original hardware or even if you emulate it. Most importantly, it has higher frame rate, you can play at 60 FPS, you can also play with graphical settings, upscale internal resolution. Then there are all the enhancements. You can choose from three preset templates, Vanilla Plus, Enhance, Randomizer, or enhance it however you want. Then there are everyone's favorite cheats, infinite health, money, ammo, whatever your heart crave for. Developer tools are also available as well as randomizer where you can shuffle what rewards you get from things like chests and school tools. Endless replayability waits, no patching required. Clearly I've skipped over many features because this is not a comprehensive guide but just a first look at a brand new and extraordinary Android port. Even though I'm not a huge fan of Ocarina of Time, I'm super happy it is here because with all the enhancements, new features and the possibility to play it on the go, I might just become one. Great work, keep it up guys. In the end, I would like to include some yearning, as per usual. We all yearn for PS Vita port for a while, Rin was working on it, but there was something holding him back. I cannot really tell you if this will help it in any way. What I can tell you though is that this will certainly help me to find my inner peace. I'll keep an eye out for updates, subscribe to not miss out. Thanks for watching, namaste brothers and sisters.